how you all doing? Welcome to this InLaw tutorial. In this InLaw tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a inner um, double exposure um, picture. So I'm just going to use these two pictures here, this diver and this diver here. And what I suggest you do in order to create this is sort of try and get two pictures along the same theme and it will um, and it will just make the um, the inner exposure seem more relevant. It's really simple to do and I'll show you, um, let's get on and do it. So just for the time being, I'm just gonna select my um, my tools and I'm gonna tap the screen and I'll get my tools open and I'm gonna select canvas here and I'm going to select the crop button and all I want to do with this is I want to just crop this image so we're a little bit closer so we can see the image a little bit better. In order to crop this image, I'm just gonna grab the anchor point on the left hand side you could see um, and just slide it in a little bit and likewise the one on the right hand side and just slide that in as well then I'm just going to click this little tick button in the top right hand corner so now my image is much closer much closer if I close my toolbar so now what I want to do I want to um, edit this image a little bit because I want less detail on this image and more of a silhouette so um, I tap the screen or tap the little three toolbars at the top, the little three lines at the top, which is my toolbar. And then I'm going to go to image and adjust. And I'm gonna um, scroll along, just drag my finger along these bottom pre-installed sort of um, effects down the bottom. And I'm, what, I'm got, what I'm looking for is, um, is high key, sorry, low key. And here's my low key one here. And all my low key will do is if I um, click this little button on the right hand side, it will show you what the image was before I applied that filter and what it is now. So all I want with this low key is just to take away that sunlight. So I can apply that low key um, up to 100 by sliding my finger up and down this toolbar here or over, over the screen, left left to right over the screen, or right to left over the screen, to make this um, image or this effect 100%. Um, so then I'm, I'm gonna click the little tick button in the right hand side to apply those um, changes. Now, like I said, I wanted um, low key, so I wanted the, the silhouette, but see this bit here with this brightness still on it, his hand? This could cause me a few issues when I'm um, when I'm mixing because it's different to the rest of his body. See, his body has got that low key effect, but here it's still got a, a high or bright bright effect, so that might cause me some issues. So I'll just keep an eye on that. So it's just something to um, to bear in mind whilst you're mixing your images. So now I'm going to um, click the screen again, close down that image, and open my tools and then go to Mixer, and then select the image that I want to mix with um, with the image, my initial image. And I'm just gonna pinch and squeeze on the screen just to make this image a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna go to Tools at the bottom. I'm gonna go to Arrays. Now there's various ways that you can do this, um, or various techniques that you can use to do this. And I'm just erasing, um, some of it initially um, you could apply an, a, um, a filter first or apply a blending mode first um, on the bottom right hand side and then delete or erase the rest of the image but I'm just erasing just so I can get my size right I'm going to deselect erase and just um, pinch and squeeze make the size a little bit smaller just so I could get rid of this part here then um, deselect erase again and then just make my image a little bit bigger so it fits nicely roughly onto the um, on top of the the person and all the original image then I'm going to select blending I'm going to scroll all the way over to the right hand side and select lighten so you see this is um, this is blended that in or mixed that quite nicely in with that image do I really want it that big um, in order to just resize it just to check I'm going to select tools again and just resize pinch and squeeze a little bit more and resize that image so I want is the the head up around here somewhere and I'm going to go erase and just carefully go around the outside of my image and it doesn't have to be too perfect I just want to just dab the image away 
um, and just so it looks um, quite natural. Remember I said this part here might cause us issues with this high key. Well, I'm just gonna erase around that hand like so. In the center here, so I've got nothing in the center. And just round the outsides, and just blend that in nicely. Once I'm happy um, with the effect that I've got, I'm not quite happy here because this is very, very square at the top, you see. So I'm just going to dab and erase some of it so it takes away the squareness. And once I'm happy, I can either tick check the little tick button at the top right hand side or I can use the flatten button on the bottom um, right of our screen like so um, and that will just flatten the effect so it lets me stay within the same area that I'm working in. So now what I want to do I'm gonna just check the tick button um, so I can get my toolbar back and then I want to um, select image and then um, I'm going to go adjust again. Now I'm going to scroll across and I'm going to use, um, see if I went low key again, which would make it um, another nice effect. And there's various um, pre-image effects, pre-detailed image effects that you could use, or predefined image effects that you could use, like so, and you just want to test them and see which one that you quite like. But what I am, um, what I, the one I am looking for is this gusto here because I want this sort of cream effect around the um, around the swimmer, and I think it's quite a nice effect. And I'm going to ramp it up to 100, and I'm going to click the little tick button. And then I'm going to close down the image and open my filters. I'm going to go to analog, and then I'm going to scroll along the analog filters. And again, you can apply any of these. You could just test to see which one you like um, and the one that I am looking for is um, is I like this prince I think this is quite a nice filter like so if you ramp up the prince the sun kissed is also quite a nice filter it's very um, lots of filters that are quite nice but I want this geist right here or geist or whatever it is I don't even know you say geist right here and I'm gonna ramp put it up to it to around um, to around between 50 and 70, whatever, you, um, whatever you're happy with. And then um, I'm gonna select the tick button there. I'm gonna go to my canvas, crop again. So I just want to crop this, just to emphasize a little bit more on the detail. Click the tick button, and save that out. And then that, that's that image saved out. And that's that um, tutorial. Um, right there. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helps you out and um, I'll speak to you very soon. Thanks a lot for your time.